Hello, my name is Polina. I'm part of the student team uh, that took uh, place in the organization of your Hope Festival. Uh, I'm currently enrolled in a master program in University of Brest, International Project Management. And uh, during the second semester, we are supposed to, uh, to organize a project. So we choose to, to, to work with um, a Bureau Information Jeunesse in Brest. From January to May, uh, young people from four countries, France, England, Spain and um, Finland, were supposed to create together a common questionnaire. The question that after that they, they ask um, uh, their decision makers in their country, in their region. The objective was to, um, to have the opportunity to compare and even contrast the different answers that we can have. Do you know what I mean? And, but yeah, it's been an incredible experience. But maybe, now, maybe now this is in place with the EU. We are all part of the EU. We're all being in the criteria for being in the EU, and that goes for every country: the UK, France, Spain, Finland, everywhere. We are all the same. We are in the criteria, and we're all marked as the EU. So why not to have the the same rules and regulations and policies across the border, instead of having different ones to make different countries better because we're not we're all one family in the eyes of many other people we're all the EU and if we wasn't the EU then we wouldn't be in it and we wouldn't meet that criteria to stop in my opinion you, you, you know they need to stop the art arguing and start you know getting together and starting to get this view and looking at these events and seeing that we we're not joking no more and we do want change and it needs to be changed from our views we young people we have to live in the generation to come in the you know the the the, de the you know the decades that come the it, we we we're, we're going to you know we are going to be the ones living in it not being cold hearted or anything but you know sooner or later the, the time will go on and the the generations that's put us in the mess it will will you know, pat, don't die basically, and then we'll be in the mess that we're in. And what bother does it make them? Because they won't be here anymore. No so it needs to change before it gets even worse. Donc, euh, on a huit thèmes, euh, huit enjeux euh, qu'on qu doit suivre euh, et qui nous permettent de créer un parcours pour le spectacle. Donc, ces enjeux, ce sont les langues, pour commencer. Ensuite, euh, c'est ce qui est économie et finance. On parle de démocratie, de guerre et de paix dans l'Europe, du social, du travail et du chômage, de l'environnement et au final de ce qui est politique. Et euh, du coup, on suit ces thèmes comme une partition, un parcours et on essaye de créer avec eux euh, du sens au plateau, d'aller venir un peu parler de de l'Europe et de ce que eux ont envie de dire sur l'Europe d'aujourd'hui. Euh, donc moi j'interviens en tant que percussionniste sur le projet Europe Festival. Donc en fait l'idée pour moi c'était d'avoir un groupe de jeunes, de huit jeunes, donc qui mélange un petit peu euh, les, les quatre ou cinq nationalités, finlandais, espagnol, anglais, français. Euh, afin de pouvoir produire différentes petites formes euh, percussives. Sur le, sur le projet. Donc on utilise tant euh, un instrumentarium de percussion, plutôt afro-brésilienne, et après on dévie aussi tout ce qui est euh, rythme autour d'objets. Donc euh, tant sur euh, pourquoi pas des poubelles, pourquoi pas des bidons, pourquoi pas jouer euh, au sol, pourquoi pas jouer avec des baguettes, des, des, des grosses baguettes de bois. Donc en fait l'idée, l'idée est celle-là. La, la forme a eu a lieu samedi, et là on a 6 euh, heures de travail en collectif pour arriver à nos fins. Je suis un body percussion teacher et je vais teach et je vais aussi enseigner à 8 jeunes teenagers de l'Angleterre, uh, Deutschland, Finland et uh, Espagne. Uh, And uh, for this project, uh, we, we will use our body like an instrument. And uh, that's why uh, we need 10 hours 
or 11 hours to learn some themes, eight in the total, in 10 hours. And then we get to get strong and to be aware, to learn how our body will uh, be used and what can we do with it. And for the, the final scene will be uh, the next afternoon on Saturday, four hours meetings of all the, the items, theater, batucada, body percussion, and uh, plastic art. We will mix all these things to make a, a dish and for make a good and really famous performance. Uh, our generation uh, will face uh, many crises and problems, uh, financial crisis and uh, ec especially uh, ecological crisis, and they will lead us um, to uh, problems and may maybe wars. So, um, so this camp has. Um, Teach, uh, learn that uh, uh, cooperation is very important thing, and um, and young generation has to vote. So these problems uh, gonna that we have to solve these problems now. Uh, on the preparation phase, uh, when we had to, to work with the politicians, mm -hmm. they were very active, even if the topic was not very attractive. And mm -hmm. it's, not, uh, it's not even our, our fault. The whole mm -hmm. system is not attractive for young people, and they mm -hmm. are not uh, doing many things to change it. And however, they were still very active. And here, they were active and of very, course. very artistic. It so amazing. it was a yeah. very, very excellent experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, even through the daily evaluation that we had with the group, <coughs> they also gave the feedback and the outcome that we saw today was just amazing. Yeah. It was filled with energy and it was so much more than even the youngsters waited. It was wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I am also one of the organizers of the Year Hope Festival 2014. It's gone so fast, but one of my biggest, biggest tasks was the organizing of the Year Hope Festival. And during the preparation phase, um, we discussed um, several topics, like how we are related to the European Union, what does it do for us, what do we like about it, what should be changed, um, issues that, that concern us. Uh, that concern young people. And I have to say it's thanks to the European Union that I'm here, that I'm doing the project because the EVS is financed by the EU. I'm glad that the EU exists, so <laughs> I'm happy to say that. Um, on the other hand, I was also one of the organizers of the festival with the uh, five students from Brest. And yeah, we prepared the festival from A to Z basically, so about logistics, um, the program about uh, accommodation, food, everything you can imagine. So we were in charge of doing that all together, which worked out really, really well. Um, so yeah, I was kind of uh, double involved at those two things to do. And now everything's going really well. It's amazing to meet all those people from the other countries. And I also I'm also happy to see the French delegation becoming part of the project with the other partners, uh, seeing that everyone's getting to know each other. That's why we also mix the rooms. So we really tried to mix everything up. We didn't want the English ones to stay yeah, just with English and the Finnish just with Finnish, but really tried to mix them all up. That's also why we mix the rooms. The second thing is the that we are young, youngster, we have uh, the the future is uh, in your in your hands. Hands. Uh, we we are all um, an European uh, family, maybe, and 
and uh, we need to work uh, to to boost uh, this uh, this family and uh, and we can uh, change the the future if uh, we we all uh, work in the same direction and work uh, with uh, in uh, to solution the same problems that we have. I'm part of a couple of, of uh, NGOs and uh, I'm used to sitting me meeting and uh, meetings and uh, and uh, talk about these issues. So it was nice in this camp because we have these workshops and uh, and we. Uh, deal with these uh, political issues with uh, art and that kind of things so it was a uh, totally uh, new experience for me and uh, it was really nice. It was a, well it was a very creative way of how to express topics like democracy mm -hmm. or active participation. I mean we could have been speaking speaking and it would have been very boring. That's what we are used to. We are used yeah. to speak about democracy, to speak about uh, but here we were dancing democracy, mm -hmm. we were performing uh, yeah. participation, we were, we were acting politics yeah. uh, and this new uh, approach to the topics was very interesting yeah. and I think that very impacting on them, so it was very, very nice. Yeah, congratulations. Um, yeah, and it, I mean, I'm sure I count for every single one of you here that it has been so interesting to understand some of the different policies that happen in different parts of the country, especially Spain. Um, with your employment and stuff like that. I mean, it's just completely, you know, bonkers, to be honest. I mean, there's no way English citizens would do apprenticeships for no money. It just would not happen. And it just, it's just beyond me how some governments work. And I said this to the press, they, these, the world, you know, the co different countries need to stop being enemies to each other and stop fighting against evil to make their countries better. And they need to come together and work as a team to make the society a lot of more of a better place. European Union in general, um, there are quite a few opinions that we or that we saw during um, elaborating the vote. So, I want to enforce an efficient policy against corruption of politicians and the complete transparency of their expenditures. Uh, they want to stress the importance of voting and they want to take into account the blank vote as a real ballot. And uh, it's important to better consider young people in European policies to give them the opportunity